This video will cover the topic, simplifying a higher root of a whole number. What does higher root mean? We deal a lot with square roots, but in this topic we are going to learn how to simplify a whole number that has roots of 3, 4, and 5. In order to know how to simplify a higher root of a whole number, we should first know the properties of radicals. Take a second to look at the different properties. In this table, a and b are real numbers or variables, and m and n are positive integers. The product property states that the nth root of a times the nth root of b equals the nth root of a times b. The quotient property states that for b not equal to zero, the nth root of a divided by the nth root of b equals the nth root of a divided by b. The root of a power property says that for a greater than or equal to zero, the nth root of a to the power of m equals the nth root of a all to the power of m. And when n is even, the nth root of a to the power of n equals the absolute value of a. In other words, it will always be positive. When n is odd, the nth root of a to the power of n equals a. So a can be positive or negative. Finally, the root of a root property states that the mth root of the nth root of a equals the m times n root of a. Now let's look at an example. Write the following in simplified radical form. We are simplifying a fourth root, so we can look for numbers that are perfect fourth powers. We can see those in the middle column of the table. We want to look for a number that is less than 80, since that is the number we are simplifying. We can rewrite 80 as two factors. 16, which is a perfect fourth power, multiplied by 5. Now we can rewrite 16 as 2 to the power of 4. Next, using the product property, we can rewrite the fourth root of 2 to the power of 4 times 5 as the fourth root of 2 to the power of 4 multiplied by the fourth root of 5. Now if we look again at our properties, we can see that when n is even, the nth root of a to the power of that same n equals the absolute value of a. So for the fourth root of 2 to the power of 4, we have an even n of 4. As a result, this term simplifies to the absolute value of a, or the absolute value of 2, which just equals 2. So we have 2 times the fourth root of 5. I don't think we can simplify this anymore. Yep, that's right. We cannot simplify the second term anymore, so that is our final answer. Let's look at another example. Write the following in simplified radical form. We start by looking at our table again this time for perfect cubes. Again, we want the perfect cube to be less than 16, so we choose 8. We now have the cubed root of 8 times 2, which we rewrite as the cubed root of 2 cubed times 2. Using the product property, we can separate our expression into two terms. Then we can use the property that says when n is odd, the nth root of a to the power of n equals a, right? Correct, and we do not need the absolute value of a because n is odd. So the cube root of 2 to the power of 3 equals 2. Yes, and our final simplified answer is 2 times the cubed root of 2. Okay, so let me summarize to make sure I understand. First, we determine what root we are simplifying. Then we look for perfect powers associated with that root. We simplify our original number into two factors, with one of those factors being a perfect power. We then use the appropriate property to simplify our expression, and we can stop when our expression is simplified as much as it can be. You got it!